Welcome back to Atomic Hearts. We're down here in, I think, Testing Ground 10. I think that's where we are. And we're going to, um, we're going to leave Testing Ground 10. We're going to go back up to the surface. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do. Do I want to just go on over to another Testing Ground? I don't know. I think maybe we should uh, see if we can't reach Sechenov's Computational Center. I think we should do that. Maybe we'll mix it up a little bit instead of just doing a whole bunch of one thing and, and a whole bunch of another. We'll mix it up. Although, I do at some point want to go back to those first two testing grounds. See if we could get them working again. I went online and tried to see if I could find any information on what the deal is there. And a couple things I read talked about uh, destroying the the cellos that are flying around there. I kind of tried to do that a little bit over at one of the testing grounds. I guess I didn't destroy enough of them, but anyway, a couple people said that if you destroy the cellos that are hanging around, they'll eventually get back to work and do what they're supposed to do. Am I am I up here yet? Am I still going up? Oh, I am. Look at this. <laughs> okay, let me out of here. So, this place, um, where we are, there's so, so many enemies here. So many. Let's take a look at the map and see where we are. So, we are indeed right here by Testing Ground 10. Boy, we came up way over here. Boy, Testing Ground 2 is right here. It's so close. It's, it is so close. It's close. But just because it's close doesn't mean it's going to be easy to get into it. Our next objective... I wish it would show my object objectives on the map, but it doesn't seem to. But our next objective is actually over here, maybe close to testing ground 8, I think. It's in that direction, 402 meters in that direction. Oh, there's something out here to loot. There's a guy here. Kind of like, what's he doing? Where'd he go? I thought he was maybe walking back and forth here, but I can't see through these lockers. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's turning this way. Okay, he's standing there. Now he's going to stand there. Okay, let's see what he does. I'm still going that way. Yeah, oh, crud. I was hoping he'd walk this way so I'd get behind him. Okay, maybe... Nope. What? Oh, did he see me? What the... What the... Oh, oh, I don't know what that is, but holy cow, what on earth is that? What in the world is that? Look at the size of that thing. What is that? What? What is that? I'm going upstairs. Maybe I could try to take it out from up here or something. What's up here? Okay, walk up the stairs, dude. Come on, walk up the stairs. So we got this here. Come on, look at the camera. Come on, I want to look at this camera. Well, whatever it is, it's right there by the front door. It is just standing right there at the front door. And whatever it is, it has long arms. Um, I don't see if I could take it out from up here. Because it's freaking me out, man. Ooh, there's some loot up here. Huh. Oh, there's, there's still loot in here? 
Yeah, the game's gonna do that thing where it continues to show that there's loot here even though there isn't. It's not my favorite thing the game does. Where's the front door to this place? Can't quite make it out from up here. We got this dude down here. This place is kind of hairy, man. Well, I'm gonna hope that this guy can't make it in the front door. Okay, that guy I do believe has seen me. Yeah, he's seen me all right. Oh, he's gonna laser me from down there. I thought he was going to try to hide behind the car there for a moment. Now I appear to be hitting him. Okay, he is down. I'm trying to be very careful here. Okay, I do realize this is cheesy. But, you know, sometimes you just got to take advantage of what's presented to you. out of power. Boy, was I shooting him at all? I'm actually not sure what I was shooting just then. Uh, let me look at my inventory here. Do I have something I could use to get power back? No, I don't. I think if I had like one of those dynamos or something, I could get my power back immediately. But I don't have any of those. So we just have to wait. He's just gonna stand there in the doorway? Freaking weirdo. Okay, we wanna go that way. Can I just jump off this building and just start running in that direction? Um, Box, what are you doing? <laughs> what in the world was that box doing? It went downstairs! Well, I dropped off. Oh, I didn't mean to drop off. Oh, gosh. Whatever that thing is. Oh, gosh. Can it come in here? What is this thing? Holy hell. I'm waiting for it to break down the wall. Oh, there it is. I think I'm hurting it. I'm out of power. Hmm. What are you gonna do about it, buddy? Holy hell, he has taken a beating. Man, the canister keeps coming off of this thing. Well, I don't know what that was, but it sure was scary. The sounds it made. Whew. Okay. Got a box here to loot. If I can get around this hunk of junk. We've got this guy to loot. We've got a little car here. Oh crap, let's hop in our car and go for a ride. Hi. See you later. Okay, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Let's look at the map real quick. Okay, we are here and I want to go... If I stay on this little road and follow it around, I think it'll eventually take me back to the main road. I think I need to go here. I think this is it. Right here. If I, so if I stay on this road, follow it around, we should be okay. Oh crap, there was a little fork in the road there. I'm here? See, I tell you, man, this map... 
at least in my opinion, does not coincide with what I see in the in the real world. drive here. Okay, this looks like the main road here. Okay, I believe from here I turn left. And then we'll go down here and I think we want to go up this way, I believe. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> okay, did I miss my turn off? I need to check. <sighs> okay, no, I'm right here. Still got a ways to go. This car can take a beating. Here's the road here to our right. Okay, up the hill we go. What's this on the road up here? It's these dudes. The car seems to be having trouble getting up the hill. Oh crap. I don't have enough power to run these guys over. Oh jeez. Oh, there's a barricade here. Can I get through it? Hey, Can't. Charles, what does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then. Uh-huh. Stay quiet, huh? Kind of on the opposite of that. Oh, oh, oh crap, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, he didn't die. I don't know how much more life this car has. Okay, here's a save point. We're going in. Okay, quick save. <laughs> we need some health. Let me switch to medium health. No, that's large. I want to switch to medium health. Medium health got us most of the way there. Okay, so Access granted. if we go in here, let's look at our storage. I'm going to drop off some things that I'm not using. I'm not using Fat Boy rockets, obviously. I'm not using any PM ammo or shotgun shells. But I'm really running low on Kalash rounds, I believe. Makes me think that. Perhaps I should switch weapons and use something else that doesn't use this. Hell, maybe I should use this PM thing. But then I'd be running around with, like, basically two handguns. Um, let's see here. What are my options weapons-wise? I got the PM. Dominator Fatboy Railgun. That's another electric weapon. Electro... I can't believe I don't have the recipe for the shotgun. Man, I'd love to craft the shotgun again. Huh. I can't get this thing to tell me where the the uh, recipe is for the shotgun. Huh. Well, um I mean, I guess what if I if I have no intention of ever using the PM I could disassemble all of the Access bullets granted. for it and then use those for, to make other ammo. But I want to try out different weapons, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's make this thing. You know what? Do I need to make one? Let me make sure I don't already have one in my inventory. It's possible I've already got one. Okay, it doesn't look like I do. Okay, so we are going to... Not that. So, what will it be, mate? 
We're going to go ahead and craft one of these things. We're gonna, we'll try it out. Maybe there's something good about it. I don't know. So we're going to craft this guy. Okay. Wait for this thing to spit it out. Hope nobody sneaks up behind us. Look at that little thing. How in the world is this thing supposed to be powerful? <laughs> I think you're going to do crap, man. But I have a ton of ammo for it, so... So I have this totally non-upgraded weapon. Hey you, come here. I'm not close enough to him. Oh, out of ammo. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, man. Is this thing really worth it? Oh, he got me. Is this thing worth it? I have to think it's not, right? I don't know. Let's 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 upgrade it. Let's upgrade it all the way. I don't know. Let's just do it, man. Let's do this. I'm going to disassemble my Kalash because I don't really have any ammo for it anymore. Yes, I know I could craft more, but let's just try out different things in the game. I'll disassembly here. Disassemble. It is now disassembled. Now, with all that stuff we got, we're going to upgrade our PM as much as we can. Get this barrel case. Well, conventional bar barrel cases as far as we could go. Upgrade. Oh, this this thing uh, increased rifle pitch. Increased rifle pitch significantly it reduces spread when shooting. Uh, composite alloy return spring decreases recoil while aiming down sights. Come on, give me more damage. Polymeric alloy weapon parts. This gives us a little bit more damage. Increases aiming speed. And then finally, free bolt automation. Automatic firing mode is a simple but extremely important upgrade that quickly empties the magazine to riddle the enemy with bullets. Uh, gives us better rate of file. fire. Uh, unlocks automatic fire mode. Increases rate of fire. Extends the magazine. Decreases damage. Decreases damage done to weak points. But that's only if I do the special attack, I believe. Barrel module, muzzle break, increases weapon durability, and decreases muzzle rise. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, it's showing me a picture of it for reasons unknown. What the heck just happened? Why did it do that? That was weird. Oh, now these two things. That's strange. These weren't here a moment ago. Uh, light, lightweight bolt, weight reduction inc increases aiming speed. Sure. Uh, polymer guides, polymer channels along the barrel. And the difference in temperature give the guides increased firing accuracy. Okay. Uh, improved feeder, magnetic feeder, spacers increase rate of fire. Come on, give me more damage. Uh, polymer casings. Here we go. Here's more damage. A passive mode that applies a polymer casing before firing. When a bullet enters a vulnerable area, it causes the bullet to rotate an additional time, significantly increasing damage. I don't know if it's significant. It's just one more dot. Okay, we did that. Uh, cartridge gun, magazine. We could do the extended mag aiming devices. Here's the column in So this increases aiming comfort. The thing that's on it now is just conventional sights. Let's go ahead and put this on it. Yes, please. Module installed, collimator. Okay, we did that. That's all we could do with that. Can't do anything more. Cartridge gun, let's definitely put that on here. Okay, there's a picture of it. Uh, discrete microdoser. A special module optimizes the consumption of profile polymer. Neuropolymeric Supercharger, a state-of-the-art circuit weapon node, increases elemental damage dealt by the polymer. Yes, please. Uh, magnetic Attachment Mode, a simplified mounting system allows you to change cartridges much faster. And then level four, Neuropolymeric Resonator. Exposure to wave oscillations destabilizes the cartridge and significantly increases its effect, increased elemental damage. Okay, I believe that's everything that I can do to this weapon. I cannot do any more. Well, I take that back. I could put the extended magazine in. Ah, eh, sure, why not? 
Uh, allows the user to stay in combat for longer before reloading. Okay, thank you for the picture. Uh... Extended magazine with a fine spring. Replacing the spring with a thinner one increases magazine capacity. Okay. Balanced construction. A lightweight magazine shortens the aiming time. Okay. Polymeric feeder. Eliminating the spring in favor of a polymer piston increases the magazine capacity. All right. Finally, level four. Flared magazine socket allows the user to swap magazines more quickly. Okay, well, we have upgraded this thing. Yeah, look at this. We even got an achievement for that. So now that we've done all that, I'm going to walk outside and I'm going to find out I hate this weapon. <laughs> but we have a ton of ammo for it, so let's go ahead and stock up on it. Get rid of this. I have a feeling we're going to go through ammo pretty quick on this thing. So I'm just going to slap a ton of it in here. Seems like the game likes to throw this ammo at me, though, since we have so much of it. Um... Let's see, we've got fire, frost, and shock, so that's good. Yep, this may be a big mistake, but I'm going for it. Plus, we got an achievement. Data. So, we could do a uh, shock, maybe, against these guys. Look at him standing up there waiting on me. Look at this jerk. <gasps> to do it. I mean, he was already damaged from before. I don't think that we made that weapon that powerful. So powerful that I took him out in one shot. Loot, loot, loot. Let's see. We're still, we still have 100, 139 meters to go in that direction. I think I'm gonna walk it instead of drive it. Could be a mistake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What am I hearing? Dandelion. Nothing on the bus? That's disappointing. I can't even seem to walk on the bus anyway. Oh, watch your head. What's going on over there? Laborer over there. Oh, it's a car on its side. Oh, there's a hawk flying up there. Oh, look at that. Check that out. Interesting. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on over here, man. Ooh, let's go up in this thing. Uh-oh. I think we've been spotted. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? Whoa. That was scary. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, I hope we're safe in here. What the hell's shooting at me? Let's, uh, let's do a little safe here. Look at this. <laughs> okay, let's take a look here. Um, okay, let's take a look at this camera. Okay, bunch of dudes here. What the hell is shooting at me? Uh, I think we're up there on the other side of that tree. Yeah, we're up there. I guess it's just like those cellos or something shooting at me. Although I don't think they're cellos. I think they're those other things that fly. Okay, so... Oh, we got a camera right here. Oh, here we go. What did I just do? Huh. I just activated that thing. Oh. Okay. There's a 
wire running from that into here, so I just powered something on, I believe. Okay. Interesting. Got a bunch of these jerks walking around. Okay. I'm gonna try a different camera now. Is there another thing for me to power on? I don't see any other cameras over here. This is camera, but it must be operated by a different location. Well, it's very quiet over here. There's that save point we stopped at a moment ago. You can even see, even see the car there. There's that overturned vehicle we saw when we ran up here. Okay, I don't see anything else to control from up here. Boy, this is a very quiet camera, huh? Um, only three cameras, that's all. Boy, we're gonna be in trouble when we walk out of here, man. Boy, we are gonna be in big trouble when we get out of here. Ah, oh boy. Well, here goes nothing. Where are they? Way up there. I'll run over this way. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh. Oh, gosh. This is bad. Oh, gosh. This is bad. Okay, that's those guys hurt too bad. I'm running away. Keep running into invisible walls, which is frustrating. I need to go this way. I'm curious though if there's another generator outside I need to turn on. If so, do I have to turn it on with the camera? Or can I run over and turn it on? Oh jeez, you jerk, get away from me. How am I supposed to take these guys out? Oh my gosh, look how much damage these guys do to me. Okay. I'm going in. Aw oh, man, I wanted to sneak up behind him and get my free health. Oh, did you hear him? He said, it's you again. I'm sick of you. Be gone. Oh. Oh. I still haven't gotten him. There he goes. This is getting much, much more difficult, people. Oh, this guy running around outside. Bunch of dudes running around outside. But hey, look, stuff to loot. Priorities. Oh yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here to loot. We're gonna loot it. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in your loot. How long will it be before somebody interrupts us? Okay, let's see how much of this stuff shows, just still shows up right here. Holy cow! There's a lot of stuff in here. You think it's safe to look at this pearl? Or pear? Not pearl. Pear. Let's look at it. Maybe we'll learn something. Statement. May 25th, 1955 from junior radio physicist I. Schnipperson to senior research assistant Y. Notov. I, Isaac Schnipperson, on May 23rd, between 11.04 and 11.56 p.m. local time, independently and without authorization, used my professional position and equipment to hack into the control system of a dual-purpose satellite belonging to the United States of America. While controlling the aforementioned satellite, I altered its trajectory in order to display text 
of an offensive and indecent nature via its flight path as depicted on the center's screens. I will not repeat the content of the text in question. Following an inquiry, I have come to acknowledge my guilt in this matter. I affirm that I am now aware that political conflicts and ideological dissent between nations cannot serve as a justification for such unprofessional behavior, and I sincerely regret having inconvenienced my colleagues in the U.S. I apologize for my actions, admit my wrongdoing, and accept disciplinary action. Oh my. Secret message. Uh, September 5th, 1954, from Facility 3826 G General Director D. Sechenov to Junior Radio Physicist I. Schneip Schneip? Now it's Schneiperson over here. It was Schnipperson, but now it's Schneiperson. Comrade Schneiperson. Thank you for the message about your vital discovery regarding the potential radio-free transmission of a signal via the vibrational structure of the polymer. Please read the following message slowly and carefully. There is currently no need to continue exploring the possibility of transmitting signals between polymer structures, nor is there any need to publish any opinions or thoughts on the matter. To put it bluntly, you are prohibited from studying, utilizing, or discussing the discovery you have made with anyone whatsoever. That being said, for your brilliant observation and passion for science, I have requested that you be promoted next month and transferred to my personal research team. Interesting. He found that there's a way to transmit radio-free signals via the vibrational structure of the polymer. Apparently he does not want other people to know that. He wants it kept a secret. Well, we've made it inside of this building, and, um, down with the arms race. Petrov is not happy that we're here. You heard him when we walked in. It's like, what are you doing here? Leave me alone. There are a lot of baddies outside. Oh, this is a cool little lab here. Alright, this is neat. Oh. Some stuff in the no another room, I guess. Boy, there's a ton of stuff, but none of it's in this room. We got a lock over there to get through. What the... What is this? Okay, some dentistry. Oh my. That's disturbing. Whoops. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, you're like... Am I cutting open the roof of his mouth? And then sewing it back up? Why would they do that? Look at this. What does this mean? What does it all mean? <laughs> oh, look at here. Okay. Guess that's... The brain. Little flower here. Oh, there's really nothing in here for me to pick up? Just surprised. What's this guy have to say? Get vaccinated. It's the only protection against cholera. Looks like it's a double-sided poster. Alright. What's this? Watch your hands. Was that hydrogen sulfide? Boy, there's some interesting artwork on the walls here. I need to learn a new word besides interesting. How do I get out there? How do I get in this hallway? I need to go back out here into this lobby. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh man, I really wanted to come up behind him. You know what? That wasn't bad. The weapon did a pretty damn good job. I was quite pleased with its performance. Oh, this guy's gonna come running around here. He wants to see what's up. He's like, hey, do me next, do me next. Okay, I'll do you next. Come on in. Come on in. Is he coming in? Can't quite see through the building, so I don't know if he's coming in or not. 
Nice pose, dude. All right. Uh, looty loot loot looterson. We got a lock here. I'm not sure I want to unlock it to tell you the truth. So I don't know what the one green and two reds mean. This says airlock. Airlock? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. Just because I can. I'd hate to find myself on the other side of it wishing I had unlocked it. There's a lot of locks. A lot of snaps. But nothing we can't handle. Okay, that door is now open. I do not intend on going out there, at least at the moment. There's a lot of wires running around here underneath the ground. <sighs> Good grief, there's so many dudes around here, man. Yeah, the big old wire running through there. Okay, we got some stuff to loot over here. Let's get to looting. It's not going to loot itself. How'd we do? Pretty good. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. At least two dudes walking around in here. Boy, I'd really like to sneak up behind one of them and get me some health. But, I don't think I'm going to be able to. This too, they're too far away. Three shots and he's down. Yeah, okay. Okay, this weapon isn't so bad. Yeah, this ain't so bad at all. What's that noise? Looks like something scary breathing. The sound effects in this game are just freaking top notch. Oh, we got some looting to do, folks. worked hard for it. Let's reap the rewards. Got a pair here. Like maybe I've been spotted. Not sure. Holy moly, so much stuff to loot. Been saving up there, Petrov. Goodness. Another pair over here. Let's take a look at it. A million ruble idea, April 15th, 1955, from Secretary A. Chubakova to Senior Research Assistant Y. Notov. Listen, I've got an amazing idea. What if we put a message in the next automated research satellite? Here's the gist of it. We put a polymer carrier in a gilded container. The gold will protect it against destruction. Inside the container, we'll carve a diagram showing how to transform polymer data into an image. Then we put our return address, a pulsar chart, the position of the sun in the galaxy, and a diagram of radiation from a hydrogen atom so they can get metrical and temporal units. We could also record music, various noises, photographs, and sketches of a man and a woman. I think it'd be cheap, but really significant and effective. Here's article rough draft, May 2nd, 1955 from Notov to Academy of Consequences Archive. A fundamental distinction. We are waiting for signals from outer space and bombarding infinity with powerful pulses like we're standing in a dark forest shouting, Anybody there? Even a scientist's brilliant mind that fully comprehends the vastness of space finds it inconceivable that nowhere in the potentially, potentially, potentially infinite expanses of the universe there's anyone else endowed with intelligence. But what if we don't find anyone to talk to in this dark forest just because we don't share a common language? 
I'm not just talking about human language, of course. Imagine what would happen if we encountered a life form that was, for example, literally unfamiliar with mathematics and its overall paradigm had no place for a similar system. How could we possibly communicate with a species like that? That brings me to a question. How many times could we already have encountered something that we simply failed to acknowledge as another life form? I think we've all had those thoughts, haven't we? Data deleted May 2nd, 1955 from Notov to Chubakov. The Ministry of Defense has requested clarification regarding the signals from outer space. Apparently the fad for alien-related pranks has now gotten its claws into even the brainiest of us, thanks to Orson Welles' little escapade. Talking about War of the Worlds, of course. I've sketched out a report for them. I'd like you to draw it up in these simple, gloomy terms military men appreciate and send it over to them. We currently have five working theories regarding the repeating signals from space. Neutron Star When a star goes nova and dies, it can transform into a quickly revolving neutron star. We believe that neutron stars within a strong magnetic field could emit similar strange signals. Emerging of two stars Another potential explanation is the collision of two neutron stars. Most radio bursts detected by telescopes over the last decade have been singular. Blitzar A quickly revolving neutron star that cannot bear its own weight, so it collapses very quickly and transforms into a black hole. Black hole There is a theory that radio bursts can be emitted by a neutron star following into a black hole or the black hole itself could emit them as it quickly shrinks, or dark matter could do the same as it collides with the black hole. And then finally, of course, human error, the imperfections inherent in available equipment, even Soviet equipment, Soviet equipment, human error when calculating data, either of these things could lead to an inaccurate interpolation, or interpretation, whichever you feel like on that day. Loot, 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 looty, loot, loot. I'm kind of surprised nobody's come in here and attacked me as I've been doing this. Uh, work note, September 2nd, 1953, from uh, Junior Research Assistant S. Pestsov to Down with Sechenov? Comrades, I would like to invite all interested persons to sign a petition to change the name of our scientific center back to Popov. Everyone knows that thanks to Comrade Sechenov, our radio antennas can hearken to the frigid breath of outer space, but it's thanks to Comrade Popov that those antennas exist in the first place. Space is great and all, but what if there's actually nothing out there? Join me, comrades. Here's secret message from Sechenov to Pestsov. Comrade Pestsov, Congratulations on your promotion from Junior Research Assistant to Senior Research Assistant in the Sechenov Center's secret department. You'll be closely studying signals from outer space and trying to determine which, if any, could lead to the discovery of non-terrestrial civilizations. There is top-secret information available suggesting that we ought to keep looking. I've got high hopes for you. Your new assignment is effective immediately. Huh, just a moment ago he was saying down with Sechenov. Now he's been promoted. This happened in three days' time. Working with white noise from Pestsov to Notov. I found it, Yevgeny. I found it. Listen, here it is. Eureka, it's a real message. Can we listen to this? We can. He is here. What? That's the message they got from space? He is here? Okay. We did it, Sergei. May 2nd, 1955, from Schneiperson to Pestsov. We did it, Sergei. Listen, is this the same thing? No, this is different. Your time now. 
Don't rush it. Just a little more. No, I'm not ready yet, my dear. Intriguing, isn't it? Well, we'll just wait a little longer. What in the hell was that? And then finally data deleted. Oh, let's listen to that. You're fired. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on, pests of. You've been tracking radio waves from space for three years and waiting for aliens? That was a goddamn microwave oven. <laughs> I hope you get killed by a meteorite, you fucking asshole. I've had it up to here with you. Okay, so I guess... Pestsov thought it was funny to send Schneiperson beeps from a microwave, I guess. I guess. Okay, anything else to loot in here? No, but there's a body in here. Oh, no, this doesn't look so good. Oh my gosh, she's just absolutely covered in blood. Stupid rating! I hope whoever came up with it is as fortunate as I am. Yeah, me too. What are you talking about? I'm talking about social rating, Nichayev. You never had to worry about it due to your special category, but we, the common people, are quite dependent on it. Especially if we want to receive anything other than a basic thought. The advanced models come in colors like Kremlin Star Red. What? How does she know our name? She knows who we are. Uh, but let's ask from the top here, why would you even want one? A rating there, I guess? Why would you even want one? What do you mean, why? You're obviously an army man. Quality, uniqueness, having something the majority of other people do not have. Ordinary human desires. And so, I stayed to work overtime because I needed to clock in just eight extra hours to have my rating upgraded. Everything would be fine if every fifth bastard didn't start trying to improve their rating before the polymer treatment and cause social devaluation as the result. Hmm. Um, what? What? Depreciation of labor. Everybody started working harder just to get a free toy. Capitalism struck at us from a direction we never expected. Hmm, okay. Um, did you seriously die because you wanted a shiny trinket? What are you, a magpie? Did you seriously die because you wanted a shiny trinket? What are you, a magpie? Listen, you. Are you mocking me? Just go. I'm just a statistic now anyway. Clearly. Hmm. Okay, that was very odd. Hey, look, somebody put some stuff in here. Oh, check it out. There's a poster on the wall in the, uh, in the stall there. We talk to her again? Stupid rating! I hope whoever came up with it is as fortunate as I am. Yeah, me too. Hmm. So here's what the rating thing again. Uh, let's see. What do these things have to do with each other? What do these things have to do with each other? I will tell you. Having a high social rating allows one to receive an advanced controller model with extended functions instead of a regular one. One with a vibrant color scheme. And so, I stayed to work overtime because I needed to clock in just eight extra hours to have my rating upgraded. Everything would be fine if every fifth bastard didn't start trying to improve their rating before the polymer treatment and cause social devaluation as the result. Okay, she said that before but we didn't say hunting for shiny stuff. Hunting for shiny stuff? Listen, you. Are you mocking me? Just go. I'm just a statistic now anyway. Clearly. Okay, so there's all that, and then we're going to go one more time. Stupid rape. But we'll skip all this. Okay. Uh, now, remember, she said our name, so I'm going to say, sorry, do we know each other? Sorry, do we know each other? Yes, of course we do. I was in human resources. I know everybody and can tell you their social rating. 
Mine was almost the highest, and so I stayed to work overtime because... Okay, so there's that again. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I gotta run. All right, there was all that. Okay. Um, boy, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind finding a save point. Uh, maybe we'll find one on the other Patrol side of the hall. somewhere nearby, Comrade Major. Keep it down. <laughs> yeah, man, keep it down. That makes me nervous. Makes me very nervous. Let's see, if we do a scan, do I see a save point anywhere around here? I don't see one, man. Something bad's gonna happen when we open this. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, no, this is a cookie. Okay. It's been a long time since we've seen one of those. Can I, can I have, can I have my cookie back? Okay, all I did was open this snappy thing. Oh, jeez, I did this wrong. Okay, hold on. Okay, give me my cookie back. I'm gonna need that for later. I don't have it on... Okay, just throw it on the ground, dude. Oh, crap, here we go. Look what we have here. Oh, no. You killed him. That's enough, Victor. So much death. I just knocked him out. He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against to see the troubles, and by opposing him, you know, it's, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you... I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to! Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick and painless. So Sechenov's talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us. <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not Victor's fault. It was a local malfunction. <sighs> a local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor, you said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Huh? How could I... You said it yourself! The whole world might end! Huh? No, don't touch me! <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, little buddy.
P3 to Chelome. Petrov got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. Wow, he's 1,390 meters in that direction. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? So, uh, Filatova, I've heard her name pronounced many different ways by different people in this game. She was the woman that we encountered very early in the game after the Burov almost chopped her head off, right? And she, like, nurses back to health. That was her, right? But I don't remember her having, like, multicolored braided hair then. So either... I, 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 that had to have been Filatova, right? That we met early in the game? So did she change her hair? Do I just not remember what she looked like? Or it, was that a different woman entirely? I think that was Flatover from the start. I think so. Uh, interesting that uh, old uh, Petrov there never really told Flatova what's really going on. Um, and uh, he, um, he seems pretty unhinged, right? And hopefully Flatova starts to look out for herself because I, he... He cannot be trusted, I don't think. So I guess they ran off together? I don't know. Maybe they did. But uh, we'll try to find them in the next episode, or at least we'll look through this place. See if we can't do some more looting, because holy cow, there's a lot of stuff here to loot. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there's another one of these things up top that maybe we'll need to go up and um, do something with. Lots of stuff left to do. As it says in the upper left-hand corner, the show must go on, and it will go on even more in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know, leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.